Guys, it is 2022 and it is time to finally upgrade your wallet. Our friends at Ridge are here to help you step up your pocket game. This incredible wallet is light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge out of your back pocket. Ridge wallets hold to 12 cards, plus all the cash that you need. Choose from over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It is the best wallet you can buy, and you don't have to just take my word for it, because there's over 30,000 five-star reviews. I was skeptical at first, but once I tried it, I never went back, and I'm so sure you'll love it that there's no pressure. Test this thing out for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back, get a full refund. When you decide to keep it, and you will, there's a lifetime warranty. Go to ridge.com slash chale, or just click the link in the description below to get 10% off with free worldwide shipping and returns. John Jones, guys, what's he gonna do? Let's speculate a little bit. I never knew there was a need for speculation. My understanding coming in to this World Heavyweight title fight, John takes on the winner. I wondered if John was going to be in attendance. I wondered if John was gonna be in the front row, but that's a treat to the audience. Anytime you get those face-offs, or anytime you've got the guy that's next on look, I just think that's a treat. Just from a viewer standpoint, you start to look, how's the guy look? What's his face look like? Is he confident or is he scared? Does he stand up and boo or does he cheer? But I like those things. I get a small little tickle out of that. Aside from that, I really haven't wondered anything. I thought it was John Jones going into the winner. I thought that that was clear. Now there's comments coming out of, I don't know what John Jones wants to do next. Followed by, is he going to go to heavyweight and take on the winner of this, which has been offered, or is he going to return to light heavyweight? Now, no other thoughts were said, so let's just take that as a literal factual statement. That would mean that John Jones coming back is going to happen, but that John Jones coming back at 205 pounds is still on the table. That would surprise me. That really would surprise me. I think a lot of things would have to happen, including Glover Teixeira getting beat and a new fresh-blooded champion being in there that John's never seen before. I'm guessing. I have absolutely no evidence to that. I just think that John is a little tired of 205 pounds. If you can bring in a whole bunch of fresh bodies, maybe he would look at it. But even that is a stretch for me, only because of the dedication and commitment and clarity that John Jones showed to us all that he's not going back to 205. He's going to heavyweight. And when John first said it, he put some parameters on himself. He put the 240 pounds. That was the magical number that John just randomly threw out there, but he believed it and he meant it. So if John would have done everything right and bulked up and he got to 236, maybe he doesn't go heavyweight. And he wouldn't look like a coward or a fool. He would look like a guy who had an idea, went to pursue something, and just he couldn't get big enough. There'd be no problem, but John is now 245 pounds, and he would risk looking scared of the heavyweights. He would. If John was to say it today, it would be very different than if John says it on Monday. Because today, it's just a thought and idea. Come Monday, there's your specific opponent. And one of these guys, Surreal and Francis, is going to look very, very good Saturday. Both of those guys are respected. Surreal has never lost, for goodness sakes. Francis is terrifying. I don't have any better word to use. So whoever gets the nod, whoever goes over, is going to go really over. And if John says, you know what, on second thought, I think I, I'm still a 205 pounder. You see the problem that that's going to do? And John is very sensitive to those kinds of comments. I think we all are sensitive to what other people think. We like to pretend we don't care what other people think, but I think we can all relate to that too, a little bit. So there's no part of me that thinks that John is going to go down. I do think that John's going to go up to heavyweight. Just because he's being offered a world title shot right out of the gate, I don't see any reason why John can't pump the brakes. I just don't know that anything would be easier. I mean, it seems to me a night in there with Francis is a tough night out. Can we agree? A night in there with Surreal Gone is going to be a tough night out. A night in there with Stipe Miocic is going to be a tough, tough night out. And there can easily be a round robin, by the way, at heavyweight. Stipe loses to Francis. Surreal beats Francis. Stipe beats Surreal. I think that we could all close our eyes and envision something like that pretty easy. So my only point being, if John is going to fight again, which he is, if John is going to fight at heavyweight, which I believe he is, I do think that John's going to take the greatest opportunity, which in this case appears to be a world title fight. But do you guys think that?
Is there something else going on here? Is there something that I'm missing? The timeline of John Jones has jumped around quite a bit. And everything was on the table, including I'm never going to do this again. Everything was on the table. I think that door is long closed. I was a little bit surprised that this dialogue even came up. The last time we heard from John Jones speaking specifically about this fight was the night he got inducted into the Hall of Fame and he did an interview and he said, I will be taking on the winner of that fight. John then went into training. If I could have bet a month ago, if John Jones was going to be the surprise backup fighter for Surreal and Francis, I might have put some money on that. It wouldn't have been a lot. But you might have got me for snacks or for lunch or something along these lines just because it would drive and motivate John Jones. Not to mention John is not afraid of the spotlight and it would have put him in the spotlight. I don't know who the backup fighter is going to be. For some reason, that secret has been kept. I will predict for you it's Derek Lewis. But I will all but guarantee you there is one. There is a backup fighter. Somebody in the heavyweight division who's licensed and just had a training camp will get on the scale Friday morning between 9 and 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Who's it going to be? And why is that not a bigger topic? Because what if it is John Jones? What if? What if John halfway agrees with what Connor said of I'm not a backup fighter, don't advertise me that way, don't call me that way, and what if he walks through the curtain and gets on that scale? It would be an epic moment. The problem is John can't keep a secret, so if you're going to do a secret with a guy, it couldn't be John, which is like, I'm defaulting back to Derek Lewis. Derek's solid. He tells you he won't say anything, lock his mouth and throw away the key. But as far as this dialogue going of wondering if John is going to come back, and even more specifically, wonder if he's going to come back against the winner of Surreal versus Francis, where did this come from? John has done a pretty good job, in fairness to John, of letting us in on this journey. He used to do a better job where he would, he'd be lifting weights and putting that on on Instagram, doing some workouts, working with some real experts in strength building, and he would put that on Instagram. He's laid a little bit quiet on that. But aside from that, I don't think that John's ever corrected the statement, the statement that he made, but my next fight will be against the winner of Surreal versus Francis. A number of weeks ago, John alluded that he locked himself in his office and was just studying tapes on Surreal and Francis. So has something changed that I missed? Surreal Gone has weighed in on this and said, I expect John Jones to be next. So I think that we're all hearing the same thing. Let out, yet out of left field, we get this new narrative of, is John going to come back and potentially do it at 205 pounds? I'm just asking you guys a simple question. Is there something regarding John and his return that I didn't hear?